Sam, we've all had such a stressful night. What with finding out about Jessica, <clears throat> being taken advantage of at that awful underground club, and, and then her turning on Kay and you like that. Look, why don't I make you a drink? And that'll help calm your nerves, OK? Thanks, Ivy. OK. Oh, a cocktail sounds good to me, too. Do you know how to make a martini, dear? Uh, no. Oh, no. dear. Oh, well, never mind. I'll have whatever Sam's having. Uh, okay. yeah. Tabitha, uh, I know it's nice of you to be neighborly, but uh, it's getting kind of late. It, you look like you're tired. Why don't you go home and get some rest? Oh, I'd love to, Sam, but oh, uh, lots of ice for me, please, dear. Oh. Thank you, dear. Here you go, Sam. Thank you. Tabitha? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know, I've changed my mind. Uh, could I have a, a double Kahlua instead, please? <coughs> <coughs> Anything for the guest from hell? Oh, girl fiend. I'm just getting started here. Okay, here you go, Tabitha. Oh, Kahlua, you. double on the rocks. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Thank you, dear. Now, what should we talk about? <laughs> Nowadays, I spend so much time with babies and teenagers that I am absolutely starved for adult conversation. <laughs> Well, um, let's see. Uh, did, did you guys hear about that freak windstorm that happened in Amesville last week? Trees down all over. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. You know, Tabitha, Pandora really doesn't look like you at all. She must resemble her father, who, whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy, honey, we were talking about the weather. I know, I'm sorry. It's just... She reminds me of someone, and I just can't figure out who. I wonder if Ivy's realized that Julian's in Dora's father. If she has, there could be a problem for Ivy. Anyway, that windstorm knocked out power to Amesville for hours. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of which, it's been hours since you left word for Grace to call, and you haven't heard back from her yet, have you? That's right. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, that seems very odd to me. I mean, Grace never struck me as someone to dawdle for returning calls, especially not one from the man she thought she was married to, lo, these many years. <laughs> Don't you think it odd, Ivy? back to Harmony. She'll ruin everything I've done to win Sam back. Ivy, was that Grace who called? No, Sam, no. It was just some, uh, sales pitch for new carpeting. I wouldn't really know if that was odd for Grace or not. We were never really that close. Oh, yeah, of course not. <laughs> no, Grace thought you were unseemly throwing yourself at Sam like some desperate housewife trying to get it on with the gardener. <laughs> Oh, of course, that was, that was just her opinion. I think I'll go and check on Jessica. No, you know what? Uh, I will. No. I really think it's better if I do it, don't you? <laughs> That'll teach Ivy to diss us. And if it doesn't, we'll just have to dismember our hostile host.
Who would ever believe this? I love Sam so much, I don't even mind picking up after his kids. Oh, my God. Where did all this blood come from? Jessica. Jessica, honey, wake up. Jessica, wake up. Uh, Ivy, what's going on? Well, that's what I want to know. I, I was putting away some clothes that were on the floor, and I put them in the hamper, and there's this towel in there, and it's full of blood. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> the towel's bloody because I forgot what time of month it was. I wasn't ready and had an accident. Jessica, look, honey, are you sure it's your period? Because after what happened at the club tonight, maybe it's because of that. No, it wasn't. I'm gonna call Eve anyway and have her check you out. No, Ivy, don't. I just lost track of what day it was, that's all. And sometimes I start off heavy. It's no big deal, so just forget it. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna push you, but if it, if it turns out to be more, do you promise you'll let me know? Oh, sure, whatever. <sighs> Sorry I woke you up. I just I was terrified something else had happened to you. Huh. Really, Ivy? Yes, I don't know what I'd do if you got hurt again. Bull. Excuse me? You don't care about me. I could have bled to death and it wouldn't have mattered to you as long as you kept your place in my father's bed. Jessica, of course I care about you. Your happiness and your well-being are as important to me as they are to your father. Oh, really? You know, I think Kay was right when she said you broke up mom and dad. Kay also went on to say that she was wrong to accuse me of anything. And I'm not the one who forced your mother to go off to Europe with David. Grace chose to do that. And you waited a whopping five minutes before you swooped in on daddy like a vulture. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry you feel that way because that's not quite the way things happened. Teresa kicked me out of the mansion. I couldn't walk. I had no place to go. Grace and your father decided I could stay here. And it wasn't until after your mother abandoned all of you that Sam came back to me. And why shouldn't he, Jessica? I'm his first love. He was mine. We couldn't resist each other any more than Grace could resist going back to David, her first love. Yeah, and I hate Mom for doing it. And I hate you, too. I came up to check on you because your father didn't want to upset you. <sighs> so, if there's anything I can do to help, would you please just let me know? Leave me alone. I don't want your help. How about some advice? <sighs> yeah, me take advice from you. The woman who lied to her husband for decades about who her oldest son's father is, who kept Ethan from his real father and siblings. No, Ivy, I don't want your advice. You're making a mistake, Jessica. I can help you if you'll let me. Do you really see us bonding here? Having girl talk over herbal tea? Oh, watching Lifetime movies together. Get real. Jessica, I would like to be close to you. To you and to Kay and to Noah if he would come home. It would make your father so happy. Happy enough to ask you to marry him? Excuse me? That's what this whole perfect mother bit is about. Using me to score points with daddy. Only I won't let you. Now get out. Jessica. I said get out.
Jessica hates me, too. I went in there to check on her, and she just said horrible things and threw me out of her room. Well, I'm gonna go talk to her and tell her she no. can't talk to you that no, way. No, Sam, she's hurting right now, and we don't need to upset her anymore. Well, she needs to learn some respect. I know, but... What? She blames me for your breakup with Grace. And if you go in there and get into it with her right now, she's just gonna hate me even more. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm afraid that she's gonna try to do something to come between us, and I love you. I love you so much, and the thought of being without you, I just... <sighs> Thank you for reassuring me. It's just I love you so much. You know, and the thought of losing you, I just... <sighs> hey, we're a couple now, and we're gonna stay that way. Sam, it's Grace. I called earlier, I left a message, but I guess you didn't get it. 